dad's name Jeff, and I told my mom about him, and she was like, you should totally do it. Like, you should ask him out. And so then I asked my dad about it, and he said, um, I don't know. Don't you think you can find another person? And then, so, uh, one day I was just walking, and he was walking with his friends, and I asked him, um, do you, does he want to, like, you know, talk sometime? And he said, yeah. And so then I said, okay, great, meet me after school. And so then I met him after school, and then we were talking and stuff, and there was this woman behind us, and she was holding his notebook and stuff, and she was writing in it, and she kept looking at us. I was like, that's weird. And so then Jeff, he went to the bathroom, and he said, I'll be right back, okay? My mom's calling me. And so then, um, while he was on the phone, I guess, the lady behind us was talking on the phone. And I was like, that's suspicious. And then he came back, and he was like, okay do you want to go grab some ice cream and i was like yeah and then we were driving and the same person was following us and i was like that's weird and then a year goes by and me and jeff are boyfriend and girlfriend and one day i'm like walking and then i see jeff kissing another girl and i'm like i thought you loved me and then he was like oh well I do love you, but not as a girlfriend, as a friend. And then I was like, so why would you date me for and become boyfriend and girlfriend with me? And he said, the reason why is because your mom paid me $500 each two months. And yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really have feelings for you. And then I started crying and I went back home. And that's the reason why I never date again. The reason why I don't cheat on test is story time. So back in the sixth grade, I did not get the best grades. So I was just like, mm. and I would get grounded and get taken by my PS5. And I did not like it because I wanted to play some video games and stuff. So, one day we had this big test and I knew I was going to fail, so I just went on the teacher's lab where you put this code in and it shows you all the tests. And the reason how I got the, the number is because my friend, he basically, his mom was a teacher. And so, sometimes he would sneak up on her and one day he saw her go on that that line and so then I went to go see the um test um the you know what the answers were and so then I checked and then I wrote them down in my notebook and then when I was done I put the um code of it and since we had to do it on the computer I put in the code and where the um where the test was and I sat it on the other side and then I put the test on the other side and so then I was doing work and it was going smoothly until I needed to use the bathroom so I was in my hair and I told the teacher I need to use the bathroom and he said okay don't take long and so then I was just in the bathroom um using it and then I came back and my computer was gone, and there was a paper on my desk, and I asked, what happened to my computer? And then he said, well, I decided that you can do this all on paper. And I said, what, why? And he said, well, I saw it on your computer, you were cheating. And then I was like, um, no, I wasn't. He was like, yes, how do I know? It's because you left your computer open still on the line. And also, your friend confessed it because he didn't want to get suspended. And I was so mad. I was just looking at my friend, disappointed. And he said, sorry, man. I just didn't want to get in trouble. You know. And I really do not know. So seriously.
And then I ended up failing the test and the teacher still told my mom. So I ended up getting detention and I ended up getting expelled. And now I don't have a PS5 because my mom sold it for $500. The reason why I don't wear pressed on nails. So, when I was in fifth grade, I always liked to put it on pressed on nails since my mom wouldn't let me get the real nails. But my friends, they all had the real nails and I was really jealous. So, I would just get the, the pressed on nails and one day I was wearing them and my friend, she was like, did you get your nails done? And I was like, yeah, I got it done in the mall. And she was like, those look really familiar. And then and then I was like, oh yeah, you probably saw it before. And then she was like, yeah, you're probably right. And so then a few minutes later, my other friend, she walks up and she's like, aren't those pressed on nails? And I'm like, no, they're not. I got them done in the mall. And then she's like, they look familiar. And I'm like, oh, you probably saw them in the store. And so then, my other friend pops out, but he's a boy, and he's like, nice pressed on nails. And I'm like, you're a boy, how would you know the difference from pressed on nails and real nails? And he was like, well, it's because one just fell off right now. And I was like, no it didn't, why are you lying? And he said, look on the floor. And there was my nail on the floor, and everybody didn't notice yet. And then he started screaming, saying, She was pressed on nails, y'all. she been lying to us. And then everybody was laughing at me, and I started crying, and I ran to the bathroom. And I needed to use the bathroom, so while I was going to get some tissue, I hit, I, I hit myself with my nails, and then... I started crying, and then when I went back to class, my eyes were red, and everybody thought I literally threw up or I became a zombie. And I was the laughing stock for a few months, bruh. And that's why I don't wear press on nails. The reason why my family cannot say I promise. The reason why my family can't say I promise is because a long time ago, we had a brother named Jeff, and he would always say, I promise I'll give this back. I promise I'll take care of her. I promise I'll watch this for you. He would always use the word, I promise, but he would never give whatever he said back. He would never keep his promises, basically. And so then, one day, he, he had a wife, and then he gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. And then he was like, I promise I'll watch her while you're gone. And then she left the house, and then he didn't even watch the beautiful baby girl. And then he's, and then the wife said, what? Why didn't you watch her? She literally pooped her pants. And then he said, oh, I'm sorry. I promise I'll clean it up. And then a few hours later, she comes back, and the house is not clean. And she's like, ugh. You never listen. You always say, I promise, but you don't keep it. And he's like, I promise I'll keep my promises. And then she said, okay. And then she said, can you please do this for me? And then he said, okay, I promise I'll do it. And then he never even did it. And it was so annoying. And everybody, they were scared his kids will end up just like him. So... We couldn't say, I promise anymore, because if you keep a promise, you have to keep it. So, we couldn't say, I promise, because we couldn't keep the promises. That's why my family doesn't say, I promise.